All right, well, I think we're about ready. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tony and this is Tony's Tractor Adventure, but today is gonna be more about Tanya's adventure. We are gonna give you an update on the greenhouse and we're also gonna install the last, or so mix the last bit of concrete, not really install, but mix the last bit of concrete for her greenhouse floor. One third of her floor is going to be concrete and the rest of it's gonna be a really small packable gravel. And, but today we're just gonna finish off the concrete. We've got three of the four forms poured already and we're gonna be using the mud mixer. So let's get the concrete set inside. All of this is gonna be run off of our solar system. I hope that it holds out. I think it makes enough power. All right, so we've, I showed you the solar panels there up on the top. I don't know if she showed you that or not, but we have the windmill and it's turning a little bit today. We've got some wind, so it's making some juice. And the reason we're showing you this is I wanna show you how we're powering this whole entire greenhouse and also how we're powering the, the concrete mixer the pump and the water, everything is run off solar over here. So let me, let me show you the system. So we got, our, we got our big water tote right here that we bring water over in. This is our portable well. It takes the water out of that tank. The water will come out, go inside, and it's gonna go to the mud mixer. Now if you guys have not seen this, there's another video out there, but you'll see some of the mud mixer today. This thing is awesome. You put, you put the concrete in it, and turn it on, you set the water level, and what happens is, is it comes mixed out the other end, perfect concrete, it, it's always right, and it takes the rookie out of, of us. So to this point, all of our concrete that we poured over here, we have no cracks, and I promise you, we didn't do it right, but it's just a good mix, so that's what, that's what helped. And again, this is our solar system. We got the fan going, so it's pulling air through, a little bit of dust in here, and that'll get pulled out through that fan. No leak. So what I got going on here is I've got the mud mixer. I just got to make sure that it's going to push water out because we haven't used this since the fall. And all it is is you turn this valve here to get the mixture. Last year we did it with this same setup and put it on about 55 and it come out just a really nice mix. Yep. Take the water spray right here. Ready? So all I gotta do is start dropping concrete in here. So what I did is I took the tractor and I just set this through here. I'm gonna do, be really good about not putting my feet under it, uh, but this keeps me from having to move this concrete a long way. Oh. I'm so glad I did arms at the gym this morning and I went crazy. All right, well I think we're about ready. It's gonna be a little bit wet right now just because the I really have no bearing on how much this, uh, how long these batteries are gonna last. I know it's charging right now. So we got sun, every now and then we have a little bit of wind. So this hopper extension, where you can put, it makes sure you put like three or four bags in here. It makes it a lot easier if you can kind of get ahead and, and then do other things.
Yeah, having that fan this time makes it a lot less. Yeah. Is that too? That's too wet. The the dust, yeah. So I think I got too much water now. Uh, so all of our problems to this point has been operator's error. I mean, I don't do it that often. So I got it, I think it's pretty close to right there. Yeah, yeah, you gotta raise more right here. Let me pull it up there. Here, I get it. I got it. Let me get it, you're gonna get the rake down. All right, so I'm pretty excited about this. We ran the pump outside and the mud mixture. The pump run for probably two hours. The mud mixer run for probably 45 minutes to an hour. And the fan on the wall up here has run pretty much all day. We started off, even with the fan running, we were making enough power uh, that we were staying fully charged. And even after doing all that we've done, some pretty heavy use, uh, it's one of five bars down. So it's only, it's still got four bars out of, four out of five bars on the charge. And uh, that's pretty impressive. So this really gives me a lot of hope for this system. 200 amp hours of 24 volt running to that 3000 watt echo worthy. And then if you look up here, see if I can get zoom in up here. We got the windmill and occasionally throughout the day we've had some pretty strong wind and it blow right now, it's not doing anything. All right, she's setting up her above ground planters. Is that what they are? Raised boxes, but since they're not boxes, they're something else. But anyway, I thought I'd show you those before we show you the concrete. Concrete turned out nice. Still got a big mess to clean up, got all that to move. And there's some big solar stuff coming up in the future. We are gonna change that out. I love it, but I'm gonna use this setup somewhere else. So some new stuff coming here.